Hello YouTube, this is Chris with War Thunder. It is a uh, game similar to World of Tanks, uh, and instead of tanks, you're in World War II era planes, and um, there's multiple countries that you can fly for, and you know, you get experience in the planes and you can upgrade their weapons. Also, you get experience with the Air Force that you're flying with and that opens up more um, planes to fly so um, this is actually pretty relatively early I, I think uh, maybe at this point I'm level four or five and uh, I've been playing for a while actually my fiance's son turned me on to it uh, we've flown together had some fun um, but the game is actually very enjoyable it's relatively simple to fly it's not easy to master but um, definitely anyone really can play this uh, you can fly with the mouse and um, you know some limited keyboard commands like WASD and Q and E for certain things but um, it's a lot of fun there's, uh, there's a lot of players that are playing this so it's not difficult to find a match I usually I find a match within uh, generally it's within five to ten seconds sometimes it's gone up to about thirty but uh... it is a very popular game people have responded well to it and it is fun so um, in this instance is a, this is a map with some water in it and uh... there are boats uh, each side has some boats and uh... if you see on the bottom left hand corner of the screen you see uh, a blue shield with a ship and then you see a red one uh, with a target on it and those would be the ships those uh, go towards the points on the map and as well as killing people um, does that as well it, it ticks down those points but uh, I just happen to go after people going after the ships because generally um, they're slower the people that go after the ships are usually the ones in the bombers or the um, fighter bombers and they're a little bit slower so you can probably drop in on them pretty quickly and, and get them. Uh, this this was actually tough because there was a lot more people that jumped in after me, uh, and I, I got torn up pretty quickly. And, uh, and as you can see, I, I hit the water. I, I my everything went red, and I, I just couldn't get uh, any altitude because my tail um, elevators were were shot to shit. Uh, and you'll see over and about on the left hand side of the screen in the middle between the top and the bottom you'll see as you get damage you'll see a damage indicator and um, when those go red they're you know very ineffective especially on like the ailerons and uh, the rudder and stuff like that when they go black they're completely ineffective it's possible to get a little bit of um, control but generally if they're black you're 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 on your way down and um, it's very rare that you can I've made it back to the airports a couple times but as soon as I landed um, I got strafed by another player so <laughs> you can repair on the airfields it, it's not quick but uh, you can do it now the, you notice that that guy on my uh, on my right wing he came up right under me and um, he was pretty close I, this game is very easy to collide with other players including your own and you can also shoot your other players uh, on your team so you have to be careful on where you're shooting I had um, one guy I was chasing a bomber and I was hitting him with a 30 millimeter cannon and uh, he actually just flared right in front of me and I, I hit him with my cannon uh, right in the cockpit and it killed him instantly so you have to be careful uh, but yeah people run into each other very often in this game so defensive flying is a must it's uh... it's kind of fun when you get on the tail of uh... an enemy and then uh... you know you see someone else coming behind you and under you and it's your own guy and you know, all of a sudden you you know either you hit him or you have to avoid him and, and that was just another instance of uh... trying to move out of the way as uh, another players plane went right by me but I've definitely had a lot of fun in this game. Um, when I started out, I was, you know, maybe at the bottom of the pack uh, as far as abilities. Some games I can uh, come in like first and second with, um, you know, the highest kills or the highest um, assists. 
but and then there's some matches it's just like from the start everything goes sideways and you, and you can't get in uh, any kills I dropped in on a couple of uh, situations I think in, I mean, it was in this in this match and um, I dropped in all these fighters came in right on top of me um, I, I did see them and I, did, I thought they were far enough away where I could get down and kill the guy first but it, it didn't happen and then I just got into a turning war, and this was not my, um, this is a, an earlier ship, or, sorry, I'm thinking uh, Starfighter, but this is an earlier plane um, that I just happen to have as a backup. Uh, right now I'm in the Air Cobra, which is a Tier 6 plane. It's, it's quick and it's responsive. Um, this, this plane right here is not, uh, not designed for low speed, low altitude turning. Uh, the wing loading is kind of heavy, and it's very sluggish down low. So as you can see, I'm having a little bit of trouble keeping my, um, my crosshairs on anything when I'm, in a, when I'm in a turn. And the Air Cobra is a little bit better. It's a little bit more responsive at even these low altitudes. And as you can see, I mean, it's just a f absolute free for all. People are all over the place trying to, you know, they're trying to do one thing, and you're trying to, you know, see if you can get in on them and, and take them out. Now, uh, I'm being fired at. Uh, no, not being fired. At the, that's the ships firing at him. I don't think you can get hit by the the boats, but uh, anyone else you can get hit by. So as you can see, every time I hit him, I get. Um, I get some points and some lions, and lions are the currency to do upgrades and, and stuff like that. Uh, also do research. So every even if you don't kill someone, if you get uh, enough hits on someone, you get those lions. So it's very uh, it's very good to. I just took off his wing, so it's very good to do that. Uh, get as many hits as you can. You also get points for hitting ground targets, um, and some missions there are. are literally hundreds of them so I mean if you want to use a bomber you can drop uh, bombs from altitude onto the targets um, in the early stages you won't have a bomber you'll have um, you'll just have like a pea shooter if you're the Americans and it's just a very um, very slow and very lightly armored plane um, I do find that the Chinese and the Japanese have biplanes when you first start and it's very difficult um, if, you, if you're in a mission or in a battle with someone that's in a higher tier, say you're in a squad with one of your friends because it bumps up that person to that level. So if they're in a, a starter ship or you know a tier one ship and they're f flying against people in tier six and seven ships, planes, 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 I keep saying ships, I'm used to Eve and all these other fun games but um, yeah definitely check it out I'll be throwing up videos and uh, showing my prowess now here <laughs> as you can see I took some damage in my my fuselage and my wing went black I couldn't get out of this out of the dive and I ended up hitting the uh, hitting the ground really hard now this is a point I, I believe this is where I jump in on a bunch of fighters and um, I get toasted by these guys I thought I was gonna be able to get uh, I thought I was gonna be able to get this guy before any of his friends came over but as you can see there's you know guys on the landing airstrip and there's some to the right and there's a couple dead ahead as soon as I start making the turn on this guy he's gonna go by me I'm gonna try to turn around on him but uh, I get caught up in a a fly soup if you will and as you can see off to the left there's a lot of planes over there and I, I didn't catch it sometimes you can see pretty far a lot of times because the sun's in your eyes the um, the your pilot doesn't pick up all these targets and you can change that with, with um, experience you can put towards your crew. But <laughs> as you can see, I'm, I'm doomed right from the start. They got uh, just about everything but my engine right now, so I'm just going down. That was a bad move on my part, but uh, it was fun. I, knew, you know, I don't care if I die. I, just, I got some kills. I 
came in like third or fourth or fifth at the end, but I was up at number two for a while. I'm running out of good planes, so now I'm just in the earlier ones. This is like a tier two or tier three um, plane. And I just decided to go back into this Maelstrom uh, just to see if I could get some points. Uh, there's no way I would have been able to kill any of these guys uh, unless I got a good drop on them. But these, this, this plane doesn't have uh, too many good weapons. I think it's got like, uh, I think it's got six 12.7 millimeter uh, machine guns. So it doesn't really have a punch. And if you're flying against other planes that are tier five, tier six, tier seven, they can soak up a lot more damage than. Uh, so even unless you get a lucky shot on a wing, or if you hit the, um, you can hit the cockpit, and punch holes through the canopy into the pilot, and that can kill him. So I guess it's just a matter of uh, finding that sweet spot and just getting the right timing to take the, uh, to take the shot. Overall, um, like I said, I, I've been playing this game for a while. Um, I probably got 30 or 40 hours into it now. Very fun. Yeah, uh, I have. A, I can see that it'll get um, redundant after a while, but I, I I like this way better than World of Tanks. Um, this to me is way faster and and more fun. So definitely check it out. Um, hit me up. My in-game name is Vex Nova V E X N O V A. Love to fly with you guys. And uh, let me know what you think.